everybody. So today we're going to talk about chain rule. I'm going to start by giving you one example. In this example, I have the following situation. Well, I have a function z, which is x squared y. Let z be equals to x squared y plus, and you have three x y to the fourth. And then, well, we're going to introduce a new parameter. We're going to introduce a new variable, like t. Well, you can think about t at time, or if I give you theta as the angle. So we're going back to parametric equations, I'm all right. You're introducing some new parameters. We're going to define x and y as functions of t. So suppose x is sine 2t, x is a function of t, and your y is cosine t. So again, we introduced some new variables. Now the question is, how do I take the derivative of z with respect to, for example, t, this new variable? bz dt. What is this guy? Well, when I look at my z function, it's written in x and y. There is no t involved. Well, can I make some adjustments here and write function z in terms of t? Yes, why not? Note that. Function z is not written in t. What we can do instead, we can use simple substitution to convert everything into t. But we can use substitution. So if you use substitution, your z becomes, well, well, x squared, which is sine t. So wherever I see x, I'm going to substitute that by sine t, sine squared of t, times y, y is cosine t, plus the read x, well, x is defined as sine t. 3 times sine t times y to the fourth, which is cosine to the fourth. Cosine to the fourth of t. So now my function is written in t, and I can easily find the derivative with respect to t. Here I need to apply, well, the product rule. Now z is written in t. So we can take the derivative. All right. Well, wasn't that bad. Just have a little bit of product rule. Well, OK. To apply product rule, we're going to say that. So I'm going to write down this function here. My z is equal to sine to the second power t cosine t plus three sine t times cosine to the fourth t. Now b is the at. So for these two, you have multiplication, so you're going to apply product rule. You're going to have two sine t cosine t times cosine t plus, now the derivative of cosine times sine squared sine squared t times negative sine t plus. Now for the second part of the function, you have to apply product rule one more time. So you get 
three, the derivative of sine is cosine, cosine t times cosine to the fourth t plus. Now you have to take the derivative of cosine to the fourth and multiply it by three times sine t. So let's write down three sine t. And here you have to apply, well, you have to get rid of the power first. It becomes four cosine to the third t times minus sine t. Then you're going to simplify the whole thing. When it comes to math 1D multivariable calculus, well, we're going to say that we don't have to necessarily just substitute these two into the function. Sometimes we have complicated functions and taking the derivatives this way by substitution makes it a little bit difficult. So we're going to introduce chain rule formula. Let me erase this part of the board and show you how it works. So in this scenario, dz dt can be written as dz. Now we are taking the partial derivative. So partial derivative of z with respect to x times partial derivative of x with respect to t plus partial derivative of z with respect to y times partial derivative of y with respect to t. And then after finding each one of these partial derivatives, we're going to finally, eventually have everything written in terms of t. So take a look at this. dz, dt, so let me write down or, so you know we are applying two different methods here. dz, dt is equal to partial derivative of z with respect to x. With respect to x, I have two x, y. Plus, just add this here, plus with respect to x, 3, y to the fourth, and partial derivative of x with respect to t is cosine t. Plus, partial derivative of z with respect to y, this guy is going to be x squared, plus with respect to y, 12, x, y cubed, multiplied by partial derivative of y with respect to t, which is negative sine t. Are we stopping here? No. We are taking the derivative with respect to t. Everything must be written in terms of t. Now with the substitution. This guy becomes 2xy. x is sine, y is cosine. So you get 2 sine t, cosine t, plus 3y to the fourth, three cosine to the fourth t multiplied by cosine t plus x squared. Well, x is sine, so you're going to write down sine squared plus 12 xy cubed. So 12, here we have x, which is sine t, y is cosine, cosine to the third of t multiplied by negative sine, See. Now, if you simplify these two, you're going to get the exact same answer. These two are equal to each other. So when you're taking the derivative with respect to a new parameter, new variable, t, s, theta, you can apply two methods, direct substitution, simplify the function, in terms of that new variable, we take the derivative as usual or apply the chain rule method and you have one derivative, one parameter here. So you're going to take one derivative. Later, we're going to introduce taking the derivative with respect to two new parameters. <laughs>